boy. Sure do love being here, the place that we, we are. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Um, yeah, I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. I like that the, uh, the Marine Corplets flying in the sky that are just, like, in this one spot of the level and nowhere else. Hey! <laughs> oh, hey, there's a friend down there who wasn't here, uh... Well, I mean, ho, ho, ho. they were here previously, but not, you know, pre-expansion. We'll have to we'll have to go see what's up with them. But before we can mess with them, we need to do other things. Because there are other things we can do in this level. Important work to be done. And everything is important. I, I just got up from a nap, so this, this is probably going to be some Sunday energy for me, which is probably good. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the NPC I was looking for. Love this guy. All the frog guys, the amphibioids or whatever, are good. Blamphians, Steve. Yeah, so he's a uh, he's recruiting for Blamphian stuff. So you, you remember? Uh, little-known gem of a game called Banjo-Tooie. Steve, you ever hear that one? Uh, it sounds familiar. So in, uh, in that one, there's also a, a test of strength in Witchy World. <laughs> that's, yeah. Th that's the entire thought. That's all I got, is that there's a, <laughs> that they, they just have done a test of strength before. Also, that one's a cactus, and this one is not. Ooh. That, that one's a normal skull. That's not a pirate treasure. I mean, it could be if a you know, pirate took it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I was thinking about the this, this, t this test of strength earlier. And I was thinking, like, how does this work? Because, like, in Banjo-Tooie, you do the, the test of strength thing by jumping up from really high. But in this one, you have to uh, use the slurp state that makes you heavier. And I couldn't remember the thing that makes you heavier in this game. And I also ran out of flowers. <laughs> so, like, if I were to just ground pound from here, like, it goes up high, but not high enough. I guess I sh should probably just fly over. That'd be faster. <laughs> but yeah, I had just... Uh, like, you use the, um, the slurp state, like, a couple times near the beginning of the game, and not really later on. So I just forgot it existed. Yeah, it doesn't come up that frequently. And I think, yeah, that should work. Hooray, we did it. Hey, Steve, do you want to you wanna hear a, a cool a cool fact I've learned while editing these and having to answer all my incessant question asking about just, you know, anything I don't understand? Of course. You know that the, the little, the little, the da-da-da-da-da-da theme? You, you, you know what the name of it is? No. It's called Charge. <laughs> Who <laughs> would have fucking guessed? Oh, whoops. Not I. I accidentally fell. I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. That's alright. There's our friend Rusto. Love that guy. Uh, I'm trying to remember where else we needed to go, because I think there were... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember where we need to go. We. Oh, I wonder if our... We've turned off the game since uh, last time. I... Breaking immersion. I'm... I know, I'm sorry. I don't know if we'll still have all the pagey pieces, or if we'll have to collect those again. Didn't it? Oh, right. Yeah, because we didn't finish the uh, the thing, and I'm about to run out of... There we go. Yeah, we, we're going to have to recollect the pages. Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that was... I see. That hasn't really happened to us this playthrough. <laughs> that happens uh, sometimes in this video game. Oh, it's fine. We'll go and collect more pagey pieces. We love to collect pagey pieces, so it's fine. Oh yeah, this is the reason why we didn't do this area. I was tr I was trying to figure out uh, why we didn't uh, go in there before, but we needed to uh, to transform spoilers. So I guess we'll go do that. I guess it's finally uh, time for to... some reason. Oh sorry. Well, for some reason, I just dis I, I assumed that you were waiting to transform. Yeah, I, I was waiting to transform, but I I had just forgotten that had the um a a blocker th that rock that you need to. Uh, transform to deal with. And I just uh, forgotten because yeah. I was like, why didn't we do that? We were right there. 
God bless whoever was like, let's put a big, stupid robot in the level. The bigger and the stupider a robot is, the more I'll, I will love it. Agreed. Like, uh, like I, I like that, that big O robot. It's just big, dumb, smashy arms. Very what about good. Giant Robo? Have you seen Giant Robo? I was about to say, I love, I, <laughs> I've seen very little of, of Giant Robo, but I love the design. You should watch Giant Robo. <laughs> Gigantor, that's a that's a good looking robot. L listen, I'm gonna make you the pitch on Giant Robo real quick. Okay. Um. I don't know this game. So Giant Robo is like like the series of OVAs specifically uh, was because the the guy who was adapting the series was told that he could do a Giant Robo adaptation, but he wasn't allowed to use any of the characters from the manga, <laughs> except for the main character, uh, I think I think the main bad guys, and a Giant Robo. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. And, uh... And... So he, so he, he was like, oh, I don't, that's a pretty strict limitation. I'm going to go to the guy who made this manga and I'm going to ask if I can use all of the other characters from his other manga. <laughs> Incredible. And so the giant robo OVAs are like a big crossover of all of this dude's other manga. And they're all over the place in terms of like setting and theme. So there's just like samurai and stuff hanging out and like, uh, like French, like, uh, secret agents and stuff like it's it's clearly from like like oh these guys are from like all different genres mm -hmm. um so so it's basically like uh what if there was like a big like Avengers style like crossover thing but you didn't know who any of the characters <laughs> were and also it was way better than any of those crossover things oh so it's like Avengers yeah I, I don't know shit about Marvel. That, that was the, the, the only joke I had. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had to uh, activate the, the Lightspeed house to, to bring her in. I forgot about that. She's even on her little boat. It's very good. Did you get the Molly Cool? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was... Um, I think it was on top of the Lightspeed house. I think we got it when we first came here. Oh, sure. At least... Um, I, I have it marked off as had in the notes and things are happening. So so it's, it, it's all good. Makes Re sense. Ready for fun transformation. What are we going to be? We're going to be a pirate ship. This is a good one. Yeah, it's good. It's a nice little jaunty tune. It's interesting that um, three of the five transformations are vehicles. <laughs> yeah. It is. Okay, so we can we can boost to go. Oh god, the eyes on the wheel. <laughs> Yuka can't see shit. Yeah, no, he can't. That's why he needs Lele up there. Wait, is that not break them? Oh. I think you can break the yellow ones. Oh. Oh, this one is always so weird because you have three different weapons. You have your cannon, you can shoot ice, and then you have a flamethrower. This is like a fucking One Piece ship. <laughs> and just like a One Piece ship, it's alive. <laughs> the button that needs ice to be shot at it. Of course. So yeah, you know, they have a nice little tutorial area to teach you how to use the, the boat, and you get to have a good old time. There's get a lot more mechanics to this thing than uh <laughs> than any of the other transformations. Yeah, I, I wonder why it ended up that way. Like, why were they like, okay, you know, pirate ship, put a cannon on it. And they're like, well, the helicopter already had a cannon. Hmm? This one needs more. It's the last one. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't, uh, we'd have to untransform too. Well, I guess we could just. Who wants to do that? I guess I could just untransform. Yeah, you could. The thing's right over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do it. Just because otherwise I'll, I'll just forget about it. And we didn't get hurt. Oh, he's still a character. <laughs> I was, I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cram the pagey in my pocket. But no, we, we need to, to talk to the pagey to get the quest, to get the pieces, which we have. Also, it's nice, um, you know, the pagey's telling you, like, oh, look for sus suspicious airborne stuff. And I believe the way the camera's lined up, 
uh, that area back there is like where Shovel Knight and the Knights of Hamelot were. So you probably see one of the chests in the sky, you know, from this camera angle. And also he has balloons. Like, I mean, I just popped them, but there were balloons here. So you could kind of like make the connection like, oh, balloons relate to this pagey. It's true. That's video That's games. That's game design. Yeah. Speaking of video game design, did you know that Disney Channel original movie Smart House was directed by LeVar Burton? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Now you do. I don't know what I'm going to do with this knowledge, but I feel like I need to do something with it. It, it is important to know. Yeah. I don't know why it's important to know, but it is. Well, <laughs> whenever uh, we, we get to the, uh, the next quiz... Uh, you know, uh, Doctor Quack is gonna ask us about oh yeah about Lavar Burton's involvement in Smart House. Uh, so not that anybody gives a shit, but this was one of the pages that we could have done on our our first time coming through here. Uh, but we didn't because of Steve's good advice that things would appear here later. Also, could we? Because you couldn't turn into the boat the first time through, can you? Oh, we can. We could have turned into the boat. Oh. Because um, the expansion doesn't like add Doctor Puzz. It's just whenever you complete the Lightspeed House stuff that Doctor Puzz like unlocks. I see. I like the little star flowers. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fun plants here. Like um, there was a tree near the um, we were doing shit with uh, Shell the the space witch, uh, and you you pointed out the tree, and I was just like, yeah, nice tree. And then during editing, I was like, holy shit, it's changing colors. I didn't even notice. <laughs> It's just, you know, space is such a fun, like, locale. It's it's strange that it doesn't get used in, like, you know, like, these kinds of things more. Like, you see a lot of, like, dedicated, you, you know, your space games. It's true. happen in space. You don't see a lot of... of I, I'm, I am a surprise that, like... Oh, that's what you need. Yeah. <laughs> I am surprised that there isn't, like... A bunch of like it's not like a typical 3d platformer locale yeah it's a fun area fun stuff to happen i was gonna say like like uh mario odyssey has you know a space level but like the part that would be you know spacey is pretty like plain because you know it's i guess spoilers for super mario odyssey the moon like the Holy shit the normal like human ass moon and not like I don't know a, about a, normal. Oh damn! Whoa, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> I didn't know that you could do that. Oh, uh, <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, that was unfortunate, but I mean, <laughs> could be worse. Yeah. Oh wait, I think if you if you want to go up on the surrounding rocks over there, there's some quills. Yeah, I remember we we grabbed a few on top of the rocks when we were here the first oh, time. Oh, did we? Yeah, Maybe. I don't. I don't know if more will spawn in though. You know what? I, I think the thing that a appeared, or maybe I don't know. There was there's some quills that appear. There's definitely some on the like little island down there. Yeah. Which I don't know if you wanna. Well, I guess you're gonna have to go into the. Or no, those are just the star flower things. Never mind. There are some quills in the. Uh, um... They're in the water though. I yeah. was thinking ones that you had to specifically on transform to get. I see. Let's see if I can. Nice. Oh. I yeah. Using all your skills. Yeah, I can I can jump in a video game, baby. I've I I play I can play a platformer. Since when? Um. Nineteen ninety six. I see. I, I guess. I was probably playing a video game then. That makes sense. It would have been three, so I probably wasn't playing it very well, but <laughs> I remember just playing a whole lot of games and just like not doing anything in them because I'm just too young. Those those are good times. Oh no, yeah. this one's upside down. The poor Peggy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bubble Gloop Swamp was the furthest I had ever gotten in Banjo Kazooie as a kid. Well, yeah, because you you made it to Bubble Gloop Swamp and went, damn, this is the best level. I'm good. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just I fucking love Bubble Gloop Swamp. It's good. Music's good. It's a fun 
fun stage. I don't know, they got those like little metal gator guys. Don't know what their deal is, but they're a fun time. Yeah, you get to feed some gators, which I love to feed gators. Gators is one of the best things to feed. And uh, th there's that thing with golfing in them. You know? Uh, you know? Yeah. Oh, don't want to yeah, yeah, yeah. ground. Looking for more stuff to smash? Yeah, because I know there's a... um. We, we just got to find... Yeah. <laughs> I've, but basically, I was just going to say, yeah, I know that there's more things we have to do, which... <laughs> not, <laughs> not, a, not a useful... Oh, that that's actually entirely what I was looking for. I knew Eevee was somewhere uh, around here that you could... um get with the boat and that was our last ghost rider wow done with the those whole game yep done with them forever until i share some uh some uh, spicy aha to take during the impossible layer about the ghost riders oh boy stuff that uh platonic isn't ready for, for us to hear but i'm gonna say it regardless whenever we do that i'm so nervous <laughs> look I'm either I'm either gonna get in the game or they're gonna send someone to like break my kneecaps. There's no in between. <laughs> Could be both. <laughs> okay, we gave you what you want, but now it's time to pay up. That's right. You'll get what you want, but you gotta pay the price. I wonder I wonder if it like if they pay a person to do it, like, you know. Uh like, you know mafioso of some sort who's like that's their job to do do crime like that or if it, probably <laughs> steve males would just do it yeah i was gonna say like maybe steve males would come to my house that'd be fun yeah except for all the pain yeah i think steve males liked one of my tweets at one point no oh. i, I Big think shot yeah i think it was the tweet where i bought the impossible layer soundtrack and it came out to <laughs> Thirteen dollars and thirty-seven cents, the cool gaming number, and I tweeted that I at them. I loved the game. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't have my my hashtag on it because it had nothing to do with the the cause. Hey, darn. <laughs> Which is probably why they're like, okay, it's safe to like this one. <laughs> this guy's not gonna be weird about anything. <laughs> I wish the ship was a little bit faster. <laughs> you don't say. I, I know that it's just this world is very big, but yeah, a little, little, little slow. If the area you could use it in was smaller. Yeah, that, that'd probably help. And I'm pretty sure if you, um, there's just like an invisible wall around the thing. So I remember that was yeah. what I did the first time when I transformed. I was like, okay, time to see if I can fall off the world or if it's an invisible wall. But invisible wall is typically the way Banjo-Kazooie goes with things. It's true. Oh, Dreamboat. Nimble likes what she sees. And who wouldn't? I mean, get yourself a pirate ship that you can smooch. Which is a big, a big part of One Piece for anyone who doesn't know. You gotta <laughs> find the right pirate ship to smooch. God, it's so weird that they put... The, the ice gun on the, the the um on the ship and all you use it for is to shoot ice buttons it's not like Did all of the <laughs> boulder things come back um i think i might have just missed those oh okay yeah because there there was some that i uh intention or intentionally didn't uh, go for let's go ahead and destroy these while we're here i don't remember if this race is hard or not <laughs> In fact, I, I, I had forgotten this race existed until I was putting together my notes. I don't remember either. And this one, it's this one's just a single race. It doesn't have a uh, like harder version, like in yeah. travel stack. I think uh -oh. you gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, I was just I was just peeping that uh, that area. This seems pretty straightforward. Certainly yeah. no Canary Mary. Yeah, I just wish I had to, you know, jam the button a whole bunch. Like, my my thumb, you know, it's feeling a little too good. Oop, oop. Probably should have shot those or something. Uh, it was nice the way they bumped out of the way. It's just so daintily. 
I liked that. Yeah, barely slowed you down. This is a, I, I do remember this being a long race for it not being <laughs> particularly challenging. Yeah, and like you said, it's, you know, no Canary Mary, so don't have to no jam any buttons. No change in the music either. Yeah, not like an exciting race song. I wonder if Nimble probably just flies over that. That probably that. One enemy killed the other enemy, or did, like, my shot hit it? Hey! That's a great question. See, you can tell that this... Uh, uh, sorry, I play Tonic, but you can tell this race isn't good, because I haven't heard a single... Wahey! <laughs> and I don't have to explain the concept of, uh, rubber banding AIs. Oh, they get bigger before they get smaller. That's how it is in life sometimes. Just, it's just advice. I mean, I guess it, basically anything could be described as advice. Yeah, all you have to do is say it is. <laughs> it doesn't have to be good, but it could be advice. Like, uh, like if I was like, hey, you should uh, tweet at uh, Platonic a whole bunch so they send Steve Mails to break your kneecaps. That's advice. That is advice. It's even actionable. And is actionable and... I would say that one is good advice. <laughs> you get to be oh hey, hoo, hoo, hoo. it's a good thing the, that the race brought us around here. Otherwise, those would have been nightmare quills. I would have reminded you because I remembered that rock was back there. I didn't know quills were in it, but I was going to remind you after this race if you didn't get it. Thank you. We're near the end of this Let's Play, and I still have to, like, bite my tongue every time I say quills, because I feel like I'm going to say quillies. <laughs> Can't believe Where I... is... <laughs> oh, she wasn't that far oh, behind. Oh, okay. You just didn't see her the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Now we made it to port. Do you think she went easy on us because we're such a sexy little boat? Probably, yeah. She's got the hots for that pirate ship. I mean, who wouldn't? Is there just the one more thing that you do is the this guy? Yeah, we have, um... All you do is just go and, like, unlock a bunch of things, basically, so you can get in. And then, uh... That's not all. And then, uh, then the race, and then, then the one thing. <laughs> yeah, but I, I enjoy this uh, transformation, you know? It's a little... Little, little boring, you know, with the speed. But you're a pirate ship. You get the fun pirate sh uh, ship jaunty music. What more could you want? It's great. It's true. God, and I love, I love the way Yuka's crest becomes like part of the boat. It's so good. This is a great design. Yeah, it is a very good design. <laughs> Even if Yuka can't see shit, that's what Laylee's for. You think Laylee share a brain? Laylee's gonna tell Yuka the wrong thing, she so he runs have to. into things. Who's this guy? Oh, I forgot about his rocket butthole. Yeah. He's he's the butt rock from uh, last episode. <laughs> God, this is ups upsetting design. <laughs> Why? Just sometimes, like, like, characters are just, like, too bumpy. That's a classic rareware <laughs> design technique. It's all googly eyes and bumps. This guy's pre-rendered uh, head is surprisingly good. <laughs> His eyes move so much. Well, he wanted us to blast something away from him, but I wasn't reading. So. Oh god, his death face. Oh, so Laylee's in command of the cannons. <laughs> so, guess, guess who has to fight a boss transformed? Oh, his name is Mooney. So, uh, Planet, 
great name. So I guess we'll probably do fantastic. more stuff with the ice uh, against oh, yeah. this boss. That's why I I, didn't, I thought you were uh, intentionally forget, or not saying the boss stuff. No, I, I mean, I was intentionally not saying the boss stuff, but I had just forgotten that the ice was going to serve a purpose other than here's an ice button. So this is, uh, once again, another great, uh, great boss theme. This game is just chock full of good boss themes. Yeah, it is. Oops, I was trying to get away from her. It's interesting that there's basically, like, this is, you know, like a shmup boss. But <laughs> ukulele. And also not, like, a bullet hell. Yeah, I do remember the asteroid explosions lasting a little bit long, messing me up while I was playing. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like that AoE just lasts or persists longer than you would expect. Ooh. I also cannot figure out which... I mean, what's, what's new? Me can't... I can't can't figure out which one does uh, what button move word. Look, I, I woke up from a nap. I already said it. I'm doing my best. Oops. It, it, oh, damn. She's got my number. <laughs> Tracking a moon does take a long time, in my experience. I have not... Oh, I have not managed to attract a single moon in my life, so I, I, I feel for her planet. We're we're really in the wrong here. This is this is a classic. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a really banjo feeling. Yeah. Uh, uh, boss fight in that you just ruin this person's life for no reason. Yeah, but they're he... gonna do violence to avoid consequences. <laughs> but it's nice because this time, you know, uh, it's something that like y you, the player, are forced to do. They make you pull the trigger to kill uh, the boss. You know. Yeah. Uh, and also, it's not just Laylee Kazooie being like, Hey, you think you're hot shit? Well, fuck off. And then them going, Well, I do think I'm hot shit, and I think I will beat this bear and bird's ass now. So, you know, it's, it's, it's nice that it wasn't just, you know, Laylee, you know, having a tood and being rude, you know? It was just a sad mistake. <laughs> Well, it's fine, because we'll kill her, too, and then they'll be reunited. And th yeah, then they'll be reunited in hell. <laughs> so, why are they going to hell? Um... They, uh... I don't know how I'm I dodged that one. Yeah, well, you did. Like, like, Planet seems like she's got some, like, oh, shit, I'm gonna die. Got some, like, serious, like, power. I think she, uh, ever did, like... Because she's, she's a planet. I mean, she's a small planet. But she is a planet. A and planet. nothing's... No, nothing's living on her. Oh, thank God we didn't die. The cruel space pirates. Damn, she's right. She's got her number. Nothing we just did was okay. No, no part of it. Like you said, she's going to hell. Mooney went to hell. They weren't yeah. good people, but that doesn't mean what we did was right. Oh man, my other my other monitor's freaking out. <laughs> Turn it off and on. I mean, hooray, we beat the boss. <laughs> <laughs> hooray. So, yeah, that's that was a fun little boss. I almost died. Which is a metric I use to rate a lot of things, you know come out of it and been like, yeah, yeah, I almost died. It was great. 